unsuccessful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties melted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's armies. It is here that my story begins. Hello there boys and girls, how are you doing? Welcome to my channel. You are watching Wargaming TV. My name is The Rage God and we are playing Kingdom Come Deliverance. Now before I start the game and before I start the series I first want to say thank you to all my viewers who have allowed me to reach 87 subscribers as of right now on 11 May 2020. Currently I have 87 subscribers. I don't know how much I'll grow but I wish I have 1 million subs. So please hit the subscribe button and maybe I'll reach my goal one day so I've done some walkthroughs on other games I've done a walkthrough on Blair Witch which is a horror game I've done I've done a let's play on the Walking Dead the whole Walking Dead series currently I've downloaded the mission just because I wanted to have that on my channel so I've done that I've done Blair Witch I have done Total War Rome 2 campaigns, a whole campaign, 32 video series on my channel. I upload videos every single day. I have also uploaded a kill montage of Rising Storm to Vietnam. But that's the first time I've edited a video like this and done a montage. By the way, there is some Steam message. Walking Dead Mission has finished downloading. So I've downloaded a lot of old games right now, which I used to play and love to play before I started the channel I've also downloaded Shadow of War maybe I'll upload uh, videos on that I've also I also have Metro Exodus maybe I'll download that I don't know in Metro Exodus series we reach that our train crashes and we reach that small village you know my story got stuck there and I realized like man this is not worth playing but I don't know maybe we'll play again we'll see so Anything else left to say? I don't know. I'll tell you while we are playing. Let me... Let me first change the settings. Look at the settings. Resolution. Okay, this is kind of strange. What do you mean 720p forward arrow? Which one is it? Okay. Right, I want this. Borderless window is fine. Overall image quality. Medium high, very high, ultra high. Custom. Let's see, first set it to high and we require the DLC for HD textures, I don't know why. Show FPS on, VSync on, vertical FOV, highest I guess, 75, okay. Confirm, save changes, let's see. On the top right side you already see the FPS, you can already see it. Nvidia telling us how much FPS we have. And that took a while to load, it's still loading. I just don't like this. Advanced graphics, what's missing? 
finer textures are loaded. Come on, load this. Change the draw distance of vegetation. Vegetation is fine. I don't like motion blur. It gives pain to my head. I get headaches. Vegetation. Details. Volumetric effects enables. And sets light quality and dust particles in the window light. I want that. Textures. What will change this? Stupid cardboard stuff. Come on, man. Let's increase the graphics. Do I have to buy the DLC now? Is it free? Hello? Still the same? Good card. This game has tricked me. Ultra is experiment indeed intended for future hardware. No. Okay, fine. We'll get Ultra. So basically very high is Ultra. Save changes. Okay. Graphic settings. We just did advanced graphics. Sound settings. Controls. WASD is for accept, use, uh, E or enter. Skip dialog space, mouse right. Jump sprint. Crouch. By the way, I've not seen other people play this game. So the story is going to be very fresh for me and my reactions are also going to be fresh. And I just quickly decided to record with the introductory cutscene. Because everything is new in this game for me. Companions. Okay. We have companions too. Primary attack this and that. We'll see that. I think the game will teach us. This game has eye tracking support. I don't know why. DLCs. Uh, okay, just a minute. I'll quit the game, get the HD texture, and I'll be back. Alright boys and girls, I'm back. It took like 20 minutes to download the HD graphics. Now where are those HD graphics? HD textures, on. Show FPS, do you need two FPS counters? Yes you do. Why not? I don't see any difference. I guess we'll see it inside the game. Anti aliasing. Huh. This is 1 into. 2 into. Off. I don't know, man. Object quality. I want object quality to be ultra high. Lightning, physics, ultra high, post process, shadows, textures. Textures, ultra high, please. You know what? What I'll do is uh, this graphics setting. First time, yes. I'll keep this on very high, and then go in advanced graphics. And let's see, where's the texture? Texture to ultra high. Shadows very high. I don't know. Maybe my game will lag. I might need to confirm. All right. Enough is enough. Let us play now. New game. Normal mode, hardcore. More realistic. Recommended for players who are familiar with the essentials of combat and survival in the world. No, I don't know. Normal. War Horse. The early 15th century was a time of turmoil in the Holy Roman Empire, which was which had flourished under the Emperor Charles IV. But now, with his son. When cancels the idol. King's inactivity angered many of the nobility as well as his half brothers, King Sigismund of Thanks game. Don't let me read the full subtitles, okay? Looks beautiful though. I have heard that this game has good graphics and good story, I guess. We also get some followers and stuff, right? I don't know much about by the way this looks good. This looks good. I like these kinds of games. This is so Witcher 3 like. Skil Silver Scalids 1403. Kingdom Come Deliverance. Yeah. Hooray. Overall looks great. I like the medieval stuff. Do we get like any audio 
like initial briefing or something Sometimes it happens that the audio of the briefing thing is playing and my game doesn't play my earphone but it gets recorded that happened in Hitman 2 so I'll stop talking Dude, this whole map is copied from Witcher 3. I can tell. Well, husband, how goes it? Good. I should get it finished today. Swordmaster Henry. I need him to run some errands. He was still sleeping when I went out. At this hour. Blue-blooded idler. Well, it looks like he was out all evening. drinking like a lord <laughs> go and get the lazy bones up then quick clout round the ear should do it mhm mm what is henry their son henry get up now there's work to be done Get up or I'll come get you up, you slugger bed. Hear that? You'd better not vex him. Now get up quick. Your breakfast is on the table. Wait, what's this? Have you been Oh, Henry. How many times have I told you about fighting? Oh, it's nothing. It's just a scratch. You've been at that sword play again, haven't you? You better pray your father doesn't get to hear of it. You know how he feels about it. I don't worry, it wasn't that. I I just scratched myself is all. Hmm. Well, just don't come crying to me if you really do get hurt. Now get up, you rogue. Hmm. Oh. What a lazy guy. <clears throat> state you're in this morning. What on earth did you get up to last night? Well, I hope you didn't fill your head with nonsense. Well, I've got a feeling there's something you're not telling me, and it's connected with that scratch on your hand, and that suspicious-looking character with a sword who turned up in town recently. Oh, so I have dialogue choices. Right. Why would I be interested in sword fighting? Speech. Matthias was teaching me archery, agility. I was with Bainka, vitality. What does it matter? Strength. By the means of first two choices in this dialogue, you will select your character's default characteristics. If you are not satisfied with them, not to worry. All characteristics can be further developed without limitation. Okay. Okay, fine. I like archery, but I like strength too. Which one should I go? Strength or archery? Speech is good too. Vitality. I guess I'll go with strength. So I'm learning to sword fight. And what of it? What harm does it do? At least I'll be able to defend myself. God above hell. You know how your father will react when he finds out. How? What's he going to do? I'm doing nothing wrong. I just wanted to try it. On your own head be it then. I can't stop you, and you can deal with your father on your own. Don't come looking to me for help. Stop saying that. Go to your father. Have my friends been here? I am hungry. Is Pa angry at me? Do you need help? End dialogue. I am hungry. Can I get something to eat? 
I left some breakfast on the table. Help yourself. Is Father angry with me for sleeping late? He's not happy. Yesterday you promised him you'd help finish that sword for Saratzik. He's not as young as he was. And you know how his joints pain him. He's too proud to complain. But he needs your help, Henry. All right. Don't worry, Ma. Of course I'll help him. Good. He always says his knees ache when there's a storm coming. I hope they're wrong this time. It's looking like such a nice day. Hmm. Do you need me to do anything, Ma? Ah, you're a good lad. But I'm fine. It's your father needs helping with that sword. Let's... Did Matthew and Fritz come looking for me? No, I haven't seen them this morning. They shouldn't be hard to find. They'll be hanging around a tavern somewhere, as usual. Oh, leave it to be. Leave it be, Mother. You are misjudging them. My friends aren't drunk. I don't want to talk about that. Oh, leave it be, Mother. Uh. You're nearly a grown man, Hal. Father will pass the fort on to you one day soon. You've been caught in that Bianca for months now. Why do you have to keep wasting your time with those two layabouts? They're nothing but trouble. Fine. Game save. You have discovered scallets. Okay, this is first person stuff. I like this. I feel like PewDiePie playing this. Okay, I need to reduce the mouse sensitivity. Where do I do that? Mouse? No? Nothing? Okay. To eat any food, pick it up in the inventory in the tab. Food. Select what you want to eat and then eat it by holding. Okay. Cheese. Of course, I want to eat cheese. Cook from pot, drop into pot. Cook from pot. Cook item, deal with fat. I don't know. Let's see. I. Wow, this is a whole lot of stuff. I want to eat food. What is this? Condition, weight, price. Oh, so there must be a market and stuff. Quest items, armor. Okay. I like this. Let's eat. We ate some cheese. Where's the this thing? Okay. Health, energy, nourishment, 75. Nourishment. Nourishment 85. Noise 26. Conspic. What is conspic? T is for skip time. So we have speech, strength, agility, vitality, charisma, speed. Hmm, fine. We will come to know everything as we play the game. I hope the battle mechanics are good. Oh, this feels so beautiful. Eat from pot. You have nothing to eat. <laughs> You're gonna eat. Is there a map? Yes, there is. Who's this guy? Is this me? I think this is me. Go to your father. Go to sword fighting. Yay! This feels lovely. You have discovered grindstone. Come here, I need your help. At least you're up, that's a start. Anyway, we have a lot of work to do today. I'm finishing the sword for Sir Radzik, and I need your help. Alright, father, what do you want me to do? I'm running out of charcoal. Run to the market and buy a bag from the charcoal burner. I'll need some money then. Yeah, that's the other thing. Kunesh still owes me for an axe, a hammer and the nails I sold him a month ago. Not to mention his debt from before. 
Go and tell him to pay up, at least for the axe and hammer, and then use the money to buy the charcoal. Goodness, that drunkard. <laughs> That'll be fun. Well, you're a big lad now. I'm sure you can manage. If not, tell him that next time I'll come myself and personally use that hammer to bang those nails into his arse. <laughs> sure he'll be happy to hear it. Is that all? Not quite. The Chamberlain at the castle has the cross guard for Sir Radzik's sword, which I had engraved in Sasau. You want me to go and pick it up? All right. Money, charcoal, cross guard. Got it. Got it. And ale. <laughs> ale. Stop off at the tavern on your way home. I know you'll be going there anyway to see that girl of yours. But make sure the ale's still cool from the cellar when you get back. Her name is Bianca. Oh. Right, so make sure Bianca draws me a nice cool one. Run along now. Work won't wait. So he's being very particular when talking about Bianca. Alright, I love this stuff. You can file on information about the quest in the log and for the clarity they are also indicated on the map as well as on the compass at the top of the screen. Okay. Let's look at the map. This is cross card. Collect the depth. Depth, sorry. Charcoal. Let's buy charcoal. Are those horses awesome? Hi, horsey. Overall, the graphics look okayish. Little bit cartoonish, if you ask me. Not as detailed as The Witcher 3. My FPS are hanging around 30 Greg? FPS. Well, well. And now I see you, I hope it will go even better. Are you here to buy? Indeed, I am. Or I'll have nothing to smelt the ore with. And the king won't get his silver. <laughs> Which king do you mean, Master Tobias? The one sitting in some godforsaken dungeon, or the one who holds the key to the dungeon? These are strange times. Strange and ill-omened. But since I serve our liege lord, Sir Radzik, I think you know the answer. True. But where will Sir Radzik take the silver? Hardly to Kuttenberg. Now its citizens bend their knees to Sigismund. Unfortunately, that's not my problem. Perhaps Sir Radzik is keeping it at the castle until this whole unhappy story reaches its end. I only hope Sigismund doesn't get an appetite for our silver too. That makes two of us. But back to business. I'll need three wagon loads. Three I wagon see loads? Your people are working hard. You'll have it tomorrow. Can we go and drink to the deal? Hey, With no. pleasure, good man. No, you if cannot. If it's charcoal, you won't talk to my hired hand. I've no time now. Oh, so he's a rich guy, I guess. Let's talk to his higher hand. What's this guy's name? Charcoal Burner, Havel, and Tobias Freyar. Okay. Back to work. None too happy about Greetings. All right, I don't have gold. Good luck then. So sorry. I don't have gold. Kunesh. I'm coming for you, Knesh. God be with you, Knesh. What do you want? Father sent me for My money. My father sent me to get the coin you owe him for the axe, hammer, and nails. I've got nothing. Clear off. You know you owe father for a lot more than just the axe and hammer. If he went to the bailiff about it, you'd be in deep water. At least pay for the tools if you can't pay for everything. I told you I have no coin, you bastard. Get the hell out of here, or I'll use the axe on you. I'm gonna have to teach you a lesson. Persuasion. Sometimes you need powers of persuasion to achieve your goal. When talking to people, you can often choose what kind of impression you want to make on them. You can simply use speech, which however is influenced by the reputation you have at the moment with the person you are talking. In the Middle Ages, social status was paramount, so the quality of your attire and how well groomed you are 
together with your reputation can make a big difference to how people respond to you. Oh, if you look dangerous, people will be afraid to cross you and will also be more willing to assign risky tasks to you. That's influenced mainly by your strength and deterrent effect of your weapons and equipment. But other things are also taken into account, such as blood stains or your clothes. You can sometimes rely on money to do the talking for you. You just have to agree on a persuasive sum. Bribing people works in the same way as shopping, see trade and haggling. Wow, I love this game. In special cases, you can try any other skills, example horsemanship. It's only the manner of persuasion that's important, but also it's not only the manner of persuasion that's important, but also the special offer because sometimes it's not enough just to choose according to your highest characteristics. Mm. You have to really read what you are going to say, okay? By different approaches on different people, you won't intimidate a tough brawler easily and no matter how well you dress, you won't impress the nobility easily. That's because Henry's abilities aren't simply assigned a universal value but compared with the abilities of his counterpart. You can see the values of the various abilities in the game under corresponding icons. You can always see your own abilities. Your counterpart's abilities are visible. So, if it's someone you know well or if you're skilled at reading people, learn the perk empathetic. Okay. So there's Henry and there's card. Level of your reputation, 27, with your counterparts. Okay. And your money, that's 55. Amount you have to pay, 17. Total speech skills, total charisma level, total strength. Okay. So the speech is persuasion and intelligence and stuff. The nobility and the heart and the crown thing, that's basically social status and the swords are basically brutal strength brute strength it's not just about uh, stats though the outcome is influenced by other factors example your reputation whether you're dirty or bleeding etc if you can't outdo the middle tongue of a merchant sorry if you can't outdo the nimble tongue of a merchant for example you may want to poison him a little first and then he will be easier to persuade or if you lead a guard away from his friends he'll be easier to scare oh all right then the steps must be paid or pay you drunk card. I don't know. Maybe the drunk card will listen with sword. But maybe he'll listen with this thing. Because I don't want to lose all of my debt money. Let's try first. I know things aren't easy. The wife ran off. Booze is dear these days. And you're as much use as a square wheel. It's a wonder you're short of coin. But a debt's a debt, and I can't leave here without something. You son of a whore! How dare you speak to me like that? Didn't your thieving father teach you any manners? No? Well, I'll teach you then. Goodbye. Hook, jab. Hook is a strong, slower hand strike to the head. Jab is direct hand blow to the face. Okay. Kicks is F. Tab, lock on opponent, left shift, unlock, Q is block, alright, your wounds, opponent, this indicator shows roughly how much health your opponent has left, that purple bar, more wounded he is, the slower he'll attack and react, when the end is near, he may either try to flee or surrender, then the left side is our wounds, yellow thing is stamina, red thing is our health, if you cover yourself badly and your armor is weak, strikes will wound you. Heavy wounds will lead to bleeding and bleeding will lead to death. More your health is de depleted, the lower your maximum stamina. Close. Whoa. Come on. <laughs> we just got you had it coming, you pup. And your old man can fuck off too. Okay. Some can be robbed, and if you'd rather not beat around the bush, violence can also be a solution. Okay. <laughs> we just got beat up. Mother, he beat me up. Where? Let me patch up, then I'll do everything else.
That's my home, right? Where is mother? Where is his mother? Is she here? Oh, there she is. Hi. Ma? 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 It hurts. <laughs> Won't stop bleeding. Oh, now, stop squealing like a baby and show me that. By the way, I don't like the there fight you are, mechanism. Good as new. You ought to learn to do that yourself. Thanks, Ma. <laughs> we got beat up. Okay, I think I'm recording for enough time now. So this was part one, my uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance series. Thank you for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you love my commentary. I hope you love the game. Please leave a subscribe and help my channel grow. Also please leave a like if you like the video and comment down below what you felt about this. I'll see you in part 2. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you later. Bye bye.